Cody, Jim Palmer, and along with Rob Long, I just want to ask you one question. Uh, you know, I pitched here, I don't know how many times, many, many times. What was it like not only to come to the big leagues, but also start in Fenway Park? It was unbelievable. Um, I came here for the first time when I was playing in the Cape and uh, came and watched the game. And just to, to be out in the bullpen on Saturday and just to soak it all in and then be able to run out to the, the mound and look up and see that I'm at Fenway Park, it was, it was a surreal experience. Cody, I want to know who got the ball. I saw you take your first strike out. You threw it to the dugout. Who gets that baseball? Do you keep, keep it or you keep, give it to someone else? Yeah, yeah, I get to keep it. I, uh, you know, I knew that I'm going to get to keep that, that ball, so I struck him out, and Trino threw it back to me, and I was like, all right, what happens now? I looked over, saw how the people were calling time, and I'm like, okay, okay. I tossed it back in and uh, was able to get authenticated and uh, took it back home. Cody, I was so nervous. I actually brought the warm-up ball in, and then <laughs> Hank Bowers, our manager, he said, "You got to take Car Carl Ostrzemski." He said, "I said, but I said, what do I do with this extra ball?" I had a question. Uh, you know, I mean, long journey, obviously. Uh, number one draft choice, uh, elbow, thoracic uh, outlet syndrome, and all all that. Did you ever really think, I mean, did you think, I know, uh, you know, I, I heard the interview, I know how important Chloe's been, your wife and your son Nash, but did you ever really kind of doubt whether you were going to be able to persevere long enough to, to maybe give it a chance? You know, a absolutely. Um, I, I definitely, there was, there was times in, you know, 2018 where I was throwing 86 miles per hour. I was getting three hours of sleep at night because my shoulder hurt so bad and um, had no idea what was going on and it was frustrating I would I would go out and throw and I'd come home and I'd think about it all night long and uh, yeah. but there is a silver lining I you know I had to learn how to get hitters out and um, that's when my changeup started to play I started to work on the changeup and that became you know my best pitch now and uh, so everything has its purpose Cody, we hear so much about the doubt that you had during that time, and understandably, but what we don't hear is what was your, your inspiration to pull you back in? What did you lean on to pull you back in? It was it was a pride thing. Um, you know, I, I, I knew I knew I could I could be here, and I, I knew that every failure I've had in the past has always led me to the point I'm at now, and it kind of just pushed me through and took it one day at a time, and as soon as I started to live in the present and um, you know kind of get back to who I am as a player and as, as a person yeah. and realize that baseball is just a game it, it started to you know fall fall together a little bit better yeah and the other thing I used to with Ramon Martinez who won 20 games in the big leagues that you know was a kind of a coach up here and coming from the Dominican Republic and he used to always said well you know it looks like he's, he's gonna have to change his wind up a little bit but now you're pitching out of the bullpen uh, have you acclimated yourself I, I saw that what well, you pitched uh, three Three innings or more eight times out of the bullpen for the uh, the tides yeah uh, in Norfolk and, and last year in double A and triple A it was you know we've been on kind of a tandem schedule so it was scheduled bullpen appearances where you know I would start one one game and then the next week I would come out of the bullpen but you know this was my first time in a while where I didn't know whether I was going to pitch or not and uh, you know it, it was awesome to hear my name called and uh, you know get that adrenaline pumping and then you know be able to pitch at Fenway Park. Cody this is a young baseball team who are the veterans that you lean on for some advice or who gave you some words of wisdom before yesterday's game? Uh, so on Saturday um, Spencer Watkins you know he he grinded through the minor leagues and you know finally made it last year and he came up to me and he was like, hey, if I can give you one piece of advice uh, when you're in the bullpen warming up, make sure you take deep breaths and slow down because you're going to get hot really quick. And before you know it, you're going to throw 40 pitches. So I started getting going and I realized, oh, wow, I probably already thrown 20 pitches and there's only, <laughs> you know, one out. And uh, so I stepped <laughs> off, took a deep breath and uh, started going pitch for pitch with uh, with their pitcher. And then um, that really slowed me down. You know, you, you were the number one draft choice in uh, 2016. I, you know, I was a year before the draft, so you got a little bit of money, and uh, of course they didn't keep track of those type of things or whatever. But the game has changed since you signed. Uh, with the new analytics, uh, you know, coming through the minor leagues and now at the big leagues, how helpful has that been for you? It's been, it's been very helpful. Um, you know, when I first got drafted, it was all about throwing low in the zone. You know, everything. I threw two seams, you know, sinker, slider. was pretty much my, my two pitches. And um, and then once in 2019, after that offseason, I finally got to, you know, being back to myself, 
you know, seeing what plays to certain hitters and certain counts and, you know, being a little bit less reliant on the fastball and being able to throw different pitches and, you know, any count, it's, uh, it, it's really, it's really helped me. You know, now I'm able to throw any pitch, you know, whether it's 2-0, 3-0, whatever. You know, Cody, you've been through two regimes now in this organization. It's changed. What did you learn more about more analytic approach of pitching about yourself since the organization has changed regimes? Uh, it, it, it's it's more of just like a game plan, you know. Once once you get on the mound, it's just baseball. You can't you know you can't think about you know what a computer says, but it can give you a good game plan to be able to attack you know certain hitters a certain way and know how your your you know fastball slider curveball changeup plays to certain hitters. Yeah, I don't know if I, I couldn't get a hit versus either one of you, that's for sure. Cody, can I, can I ask you, you one more much. question? You know, uh, I was talking to Tyler Wells, who's going to start tonight, and I said, hitters usually are going to tell you what you need to throw. What did you, again, you know, three plus innings, uh, really good early. I, I, I read where you got a little bit tired or whatever. Maybe that was the adrenaline you run out of a little bit. But what about facing major league hitters for the first time? What did you learn? I, you know, it's. You, you you can't be perfect you know it's it's just it's just another hitter out there and um i threw some you know some two strike pitches that i probably should have got off the plate and you know who knows in triple a those might be foul balls or it might be a ground ball but you know here they were doubles so uh you know I, it's the same game and uh i think i did a you know a good job of attacking hitters and um that leadoff walk in the eighth pretty upset about that because you know leadoff walks usually score and um but other than that, it's just, it's the same game. Yeah, it is. Hey, Cody, good luck to you. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, best of luck for the future. Yeah. Stay healthy and have a good time. Thank you, guys. Yeah.